Hello there, glad to meet you! Welcome to the world of Pokémon! My name is Oak, people affectionately refer to me as the Pokémon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokémon. And if you want to know how people tend to interact with these Pokémon, well, some people keep them as companions, others have them do battle. As for myself, I study Pokémon as a profession. Now, why don't you tell me about yourself? Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and choose our character. So I thought about choosing the girl and naming her Wahei, and I actually did a, a poll on Twitter and a lot of people wanted me to do that, but some people said I should keep Wahei to the Nuzlocks, so I guess we're gonna go with the boy. I like the one with the gray hair, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose them. And the name, I'm gonna be boring guys, I'll just, I'll just choose my name, I'll just do Psycho here. There we go, the name is selected, let's go. Right, so your name is Psycho, yes? This boy here is your friend and rival who has grown up right next door to you. What was his name? <laughs> How could you not know his name? All right then, what is your rival's name? So back in the original Pokemon games or early on in the Pokemon franchise, one of the main rivals was a character named Gary. And this is kind of like an alternate reality, a remake of those original games. So I'm gonna go ahead and scramble up the letters of Gary. And instead of being Gary, he's gonna be Yarg. So our rival name is Yarg. It's not a pirate. It's just a weird name. That's what we're going with here. Mm-hmm. I see. His name is Yarg. Psycho, my boy. Your very own Pokemon tale is about to unfold. Yes, a world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Of course, they had to squeeze in the name of the game right there. Where am I? And why do I have hands? What is this? Alrighty, everyone. With all of that intro shenanigan stuff out of the way, I can finally say hello and welcome to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. This will be an in-depth 100% walkthrough. I've already played through the game on Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I've dug through, I've written down dozens of pages of notes, so I'll be showing off every secret item, how to catch every single Pokemon. I'll talk about like Easter eggs. I'll show basically everything in the game there possibly is to show. And in the spirit of the game, as this is meant to be a Pokemon game that's more simplified, good for people who have never played Pokemon before. As I go through this walkthrough, I'm not going to assume that you know all of this crazy jargon and all kinds of stuff about Pokemon. I'm gonna do my best to explain all the different game mechanics, especially the new stuff that they added in this version of the game, but the old stuff as well, I'll be explaining everything. So yeah, this series will be absolutely as in-depth as I can possibly imagine making it. And with all of that out of the way, let's go and begin our adventure. So the first thing I want to do is just go and explore the room right here. There's a few different things we can interact with and I will try to interact with all the different things in the game as long as there's unique dialogue. Some cases, in some cases it'll just be repeats, but most of the game doesn't have a lot of stuff to interact with. Just early on there's quite a bit. But here this PC says, hey Psycho, so here's what you need to know as a trainer. Press the A button and you can talk to all kinds of people and if you tilt the control stick, you can run. Plus, if you open the main menu by pressing the X button, you can save your progress too. Boy, I can't wait to get started, can you? I guess not. So if we press X, we do have the menu, but most of our options are grayed out right now. We can save the game, but one other thing you can do is you can press Y to open the options. I want to go and actually set the tech speed to fast. Uh, I'm not going to worry about any of the other settings for now. And here's our first little Easter egg. If you look on the left, there's actually a calendar that has some sprite work from the original Pokemon games. And of course, right there is the, the uh, poster. It's got Nidorino and Gengar. It's kind of a throwback to the intro of the old games as well. But let's get out of here, dude. I'm coming up. Uh-oh. Who could this possibly be? Up and at him. And here we've got Yarg. Morning, Psycho. What's up, buddy? 
What's going on? You've got one weird look on your face. It's called a smile. Maybe you should try it sometime. Uh, never mind that. I couldn't wait any longer, so I came to get you. Today's finally the big day. We're finally going to get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become real trainers. Oh, but before we do... Um... Computer, you read the email I sent you yesterday, right? Yeah, I, I, I read it, dude. You better have. Check your computer if you didn't. Okay. I'm gonna book it to Professor Oak's lab, so see you there. Okay, see you later, Yarg. I'm gonna go barge into your room now, see how you like it, dude. So we'll go downstairs, there's a few more things we can check out. Now one thing that's really interesting, if we look at the TV, it says they are showing a movie on TV, the scene is showing four boys walking down a set of railroad tracks. Now this is a reference to the movie Stand By Me, and this reference was in the original games as well. But interestingly, if you actually look at this TV as a girl character, it'll instead have a reference to The Wizard of Oz. So I don't know why that's different, but that's just a thing. So yeah, there's a few things around here we can look at. We can even look like it. We can look at a cup named Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. And here's our mom, so we can go talk to her. He asked the professor to give the two of you Pokemon of your own, didn't he? Um, I guess so. I guess we'll go get our own Pokemon. All right, that's enough stuff to check out. So let's go get out of here and let's go to gosh dang Pallet Town. Man, I absolutely adore the art style that they gave this game. So here we are in Pallet Town. There's Psycho's house, I guess. Here we've got a sign, which we can't read from the back for some reason. But yeah, Pallet Town, shades of your journey await. Very cool. Not a very big town. We've only got this character right here and the very, very famous technology guy. Basically every Pokemon game ever has, has a guy that says technology is incredible. This guy is here as well. So he mentions you can connect your smartphone with the uh, the Pokemon Go app. You can connect it to here. However, you can't really do that for quite a while. So I'll be talking all about that, but that's much later. But now let's just go and look at this sign and uh, I guess go inside. So this is where we want to go to get our Pokemon here. There's a few characters inside here, but none of them say anything too particularly interesting. It's just a, a bunch of little flavor text. I don't know. Personally, I really like looking at all the different dialogue. I just think it adds a lot of character to the game, so it takes a few seconds to talk to stuff. I think it's worth it. Oh, Psycho, Professor Oak isn't here. Do you think those Pokeballs hold the Pokemon you and I are supposed to get? I can't wait to get mine. So yeah, there are two Pokeballs here. There's also one missing. I don't know where that crud is, but uh, we can't really do anything here for now. So we actually do need to leave. And we have to exit out of the town to the north to actually progress, but I want to go inside this building here real quick as well. This is actually Yarg's house, so we'll go right inside, and here we do have Yarg's sister. Oh, hi, Psycho, looking for Yarg. He went to pick you up. Did you miss each other? He said that he was going to Professor Oak's lab with you, so remember this character for later. She's actually going to be pretty important later on in the game, but nothing too important right now. Over here, we have also got a picture of Yarg for some reason, and we've also got a reflection in the TV, I guess. Now, one thing that's really odd, there's gosh dang no beds in this house. They don't even have an upstairs. What the crud, dude? It's a copy of Pokemon Journal. It says, if you cherish your Pokemon, they'll love you in return. That's definitely true, and we'll talk more about what that actually means in the future. Wait, his house does have an upstairs. How do they get up there? Is there like a secret staircase around back? How do you get up to that balcony, dude? The world of Pokemon is... <laughs> the world of Pokemon is very mysterious. Let's just go up and talk to this guy up here. This is Oak. Well, my good Pidgey, thanks for the help. This is the guy we creepily saw in that, like, that rainbow we dream at the start where we chose our name and crud. I think I understand you all a bit better now, thanks to this. So, I guess he's just researching birds. There you go. Ah, if it isn't Psycho. What's up, Professor Oak? How's it going, buddy? Walking along in some grass. Oh, of course, I promised to give you and Yarg your Pokemon today, didn't I? Well, in that case, why don't we head over to... The crud? What was that crud? Uh-oh. What's this? Um, hi. Oh gosh, what, what's happening? Oh, you encountered a wild Eevee. He's attacking me. He's going to eat my face. My, my, I surely wouldn't have expected an Eevee to appear around here. Uh, just a heads up, guys. Winter is coming dry air, so if you see me randomly make cuts, it's because I'm clearing my throat. Gosh dang, winter is brutal. But since the opportunity has presented itself, why don't we practice some Pokemon catching? You just have to throw out your Pokeball and try to land it on a wild Pokemon for the chance to catch it. 
All right, so here we go, guys. Hold your Joy-Con, that's the name of the Nintendo Switch controller, horizontally and point it straight at the screen. With your Joy-Con pointing at the screen, press the A button to ready a Pokeball. So basically, what we have to do is press A just like that, and as you can see, you just throw your Pokeball by waving your Joy-Con. So you kind of just have to, like, turn into a role player, I guess, and pretend you're actually throwing Pokeballs. But yeah, just don't whack your armor on crud. So let's just do it and uh, get a great throw, and we'll see what we got here. I, I don't think it's actually possible for this tutorial battle to break out of the Pokeball, uh, but there was a lot of stuff going on on that capture screen. I'll go over all that crud in detail in the future, but I don't want to bog you guys down right at the start like that, so let's go ahead and capture our first Pokemon, Eevee. That was a pretty fine performance for a first-timer, my boy. You're, you're not my dad. I'm not your boy. Why don't you pick up that Pokeball and give the Eevee you caught a name? Well, all right then. Oh, what the heck? What in the... Yeah, I guess Professor Oak has the same reaction as me. Now that's a lively Pokemon if I've ever seen one. Have you guys ever seen a Pokeball bounce around like that before? I don't think I've ever seen that. I, I haven't seen every episode of the anime, but... Hey, wait, come back! I, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that happen. So here we are back at the lab, and as you can see, there's now three Pokeballs, not just two. Uh, Professor Oak, those Pokeballs there... I, I swear there was only two a second ago, but now there's three! A perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy. You see, one of them is an Eevee that Psycho caught just now. So, wait, Psycho, you caught it yourself? Heck yeah, I did, man. It's a bouncy ball. Yep. Well, I've never seen that happen before. Ho, ho, ho. Professor Oak, I know it's winter, but Santa is not coming yet. How interesting. Well, my boy, this is it. Take that Pokeball and keep good hold of it this time. All right then, so we can go talk to these guys. I think the Pokemon you caught is in the middle Pokeball. So he says it's in the middle Pokeball, but it's kind of funny. If you try to grab one of the other Pokeballs, Eevee in the middle gets kind of mad and starts bouncing around. So you do have to choose specifically Eevee. You can't choose any of the other ones. So, yeah, well, we'll never know what those other two Pokemon are. Uh oh, I still have hands. Oh, also there's a Pokeball there. I, I guess that's important too. Hey, Eevee. So... They didn't want to go inside the Pokeball, I guess. They came out on their own. Um, why are you sniffing my fingers, Eevee? That's kind of strange. Oh, he's so cute, dude. Oh my gosh, man. I love Eevee. I mean, personally, personally, I think I prefer Pikachu over Eevee, but Eevee is so cute as well. And Eevee became your Pokemon. Now, one thing that's really important is that depending on if your Eevee is a male or a female, they'll actually have a slightly different pattern on their tail. So I can actually tell that this is a female Eevee, and that'll become important in a second here. Hmm, what a strange Pokemon indeed. It sure doesn't seem to like staying in one place, but it looks as though it's taken a shine to you, Psycho. Why not give it a name? So this is why that's important. Uh, would you like to give it a nickname to Eevee? Sure. So a long time ago, I did a Pokemon Yellow Let's Play, and I named my Pikachu Thor. So I thought it might be fun to name Eevee after a Norse god as well. So if they were a boy, I was going to name them Loki. But because they're a girl, I'm going to go ahead and name them Freya. Now, some people spell Freya with a J. I'm going to spell it like this. And I think technically it's pronounced Freya, but I'm just, I'm just going to say Freya. So there we go. Freya the Eevee. And they've been added to our party. Awesome. And it looks like Yarg's gonna go up as well. Professor, I choose this one. Yarg got a Pikachu. So there you go. Yarg gets Pikachu. If you're playing the Pikachu version, then Yarg will get Eevee. But can we ever figure out what this ball is? It's a Pokeball. It contains a Pokemon. But what's in there? I don't know, man. It's really cute. Pikachu is just what I wanted. For a new trainer to catch their first Pokemon themselves. Even I've never seen such a thing. Yeah, normally uh, Professor Oak just gives you something in the old games or he'll catch it for you. So, there's a few little bits of flavor text as well throughout the, the uh, lab right here, so we might as well go check it, especially this. We can go peep on Professor Oak's email! The Pokemon League at the Indigo Plateau is full of Pokemon trainers who have raised strong Pokemon to challenge and battle the Elite Four, the ultimate trainers. Professor Oak, please visit us again, the Pokemon League headquarters. So yeah, just lots of, lots of little flavor text. Like I was saying before, there's a lot to look at right now, but... As we get to later buildings in the game, there's really not much, so it's a lot of dialogue to look at here, but just for the sake of being complete, being thorough, I just want to show off all these little bits of dialogue. I think they add a little bit to the game, so let's go ahead and check them out. Oh, just one more thing. Now that you two are setting out as trainers, I'd like to ask your help with something. Take this with you on your journeys. What could it possibly be? Well, I guess we'll find out. Oh, uh, Professor Oak, I was not snooping through your emails. Uh, what is that thing, Professor? 
This is the Pokedex that I've designed. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught and makes an entry for each. It's an extremely high-tech tool. Psycho and Yarg, I want you to each to take one with you. Okay, dude, if you say so. So here we get the Pokedex. This is going to be a very, very important thing to have, but it's not exactly very useful right now. You'll find you can't get very detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch a Pokemon to gather the most complete data, and we'll be catching all of them. Don't you worry, guys. This version of Pokemon has a very, very heavy emphasis on catching Pokemon rather than just battling them. So, yeah, we'll definitely be catching a lot of stuff. Uh, just a random little tidbit. There is a benefit to catching over 8,000 Pokemon, but we'll get to that later. Don't worry about it for now. To make a complete guide to all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm an old man now, too old to get the job done myself. That's why I want you young trainers to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. A Pokedex, huh? We're gonna meet so many Pokemon. This keeps getting better and better. I'm setting out right now. Psycho, you should do the same. If you think you're ready, that is. I'm definitely ready, dude. Well, ready right after we check out these two more uh, bookshelves right here. Now, this one mentions that you need Pokeballs to catch Pokemon, and you can buy lots at the Pokemart. And it's kind of funny that it mentions that, because if we open up our menu right here, we actually have a lot more options now. We've got Party, Bag, and Pokedex. Well, first off, let me show the Pokedex. We've only obtained one Pokemon and seen one Pokemon, and the rest is all completely blank. The one we have down here is just an Eevee. But if we go to our bag and we go to the Catching Pocket, this is where our stuff for catching Pokemon is, we've actually already got 50 Pokeballs, so we won't need to buy any for a good while. There's a whole bunch of other pockets that are basically empty right now, so don't worry about those. But one thing I do want to show you guys, it's really cool. If you go to the party menu and you choose a Pokemon, you can actually change the Pokemon's name. Back in previous Pokemon games, you had to go to a special character to change your name, but yeah, you could just change your, your Pokemon's names whenever you feel like it. So that's pretty cool. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and get out of here. And as soon as we exit, well, we're going to be greeted by good old mom. What's up, mom? Oh, how cute. This is the one you got from the professor. It sure is. What? You caught it yourself? That's amazing. What should I call your new friend? Freya. It's a lovely Pokemon. Eevee! My, how energetic. I suppose that means you two will be setting off on an adventure today, right? I thought this day might come soon, so I planned ahead and got this for you. And she will give us the town map. This will basically just let us see the entire world. I, I don't know why they call it a town map. It's more of like a region map. It shows the entire region. But uh, it's pretty handy, and there's actually something really cool about the, the town map in this game. So let's go take a look. Let's go open the bag here. Now, gosh dang it. Let's go open the bag, and down here we've got the town map. We can use it. And what's really cool about this one is you kind of see how Pallet Town, where we are, is colored in. Basically, as you explore the game, as you go to new areas, they'll all get colored in. So it kind of is a good way to look at your progress in the game. It's really cool. But all right, let's go move on. Let's go start our adventure. Now, one thing you're going to immediately see, this is very different from previous Pokemon games. We can actually see all of the random Pokemon. Instead of like back in the day when you'd walk around and they'd randomly encounter you, now you can actually just walk into them to start a battle. So right here, we've got a wild Pidgey. So we can go and catch it. Something that's very different about this game is you actually do not battle wild encounters. You only catch them. And the way that catching Pokemon works is you go ahead and get ready just like we saw before but you see that colored ring on Pidgey that's going in and out like that what your goal is is to throw your ball and land it inside the colored ring but you get a better score if the ring is small so if you want the best throw you want the ring to be very small and you want to land right inside of it so let's see if I can do that oh <laughs> Pidgey jumped and dodged my ball let's try that again Okay, I got a nice. So I got it inside the ring, but it was pretty big. Nice is not that good. Uh, if you get a little smaller, you can get great. And even smaller, you can get an excellent, which is the best you can get. So you want to try to get excellent as often as possible. Now, for catching this guy, you can see we get a nice throw bonus. We get a bonus multiplier, which basically gives us more experience points. The technique bonus is because we captured the Pokemon using the Joy-Con or the Pokeball Plus controller. One thing that's really interesting is you can actually play this game in handheld mode with the Switch, but if you do that, then you have to use either the joystick or the gyro controls to aim the uh, to aim your Pokeball throw, basically. And then you press the A button to actually throw it. Now, that's handy and everything, but you do not get a technique bonus if you capture the Pokemon that way. Anyways, we get the experience points and we get that for Freya here. Awesome. We're just going to work up towards level 6, I guess. So here we go. Pidgey's data will be added to the Pokedex. It's a normal and flying type Pokemon. Very docile. If attacked, it will often kick up sand to protect itself rather than fight back. 
This is a couple things you can do as well. You can check out the Pokemon. You can make them do their sound. You could make them do an attack, I guess. You can even freeze them for some reason if you want to freeze them in a certain pose. But all right, that's it for that. Pidgey's been added to your party. Awesome. Our party can hold up to six Pokemon, so the first few Pokemon we catch are going to automatically get added. So let's go capture this guy as well. Right here, we've got ourselves a Wild Rattata. So let's go ahead and see if we can catch this guy. Let's see if I can get that excellent. Now, you got to be careful. You see right there, he kind of did a taunt. And if they do a taunt and you throw the Pokeball, it'll just bounce right off of them. You cannot catch a Pokemon while they're taunting. Alright, got it first try. You'll, you'll notice the Pokemon early on are very easy to catch. It'll get trickier as we go. So here we got a bunch of bonuses once again. And he even dropped an item, a Raspberry. We'll learn more about Raspberries a little bit later on. But here we got Freya up to level 6, very nice. And they learn Quick Attack. Awesome. Once we actually get to battling Pokemon, that'll be more handy. So Rattata is a normal type Pokemon, and he will chew on anything with its fangs. If you see one, you can be certain that 40 more live in the area. Okay, and there's only one more Pokemon to catch here on Route 1, and that is Bellsprout, which is right here. So let's go get him. Now, if you're playing on Let's Go Pikachu instead of Eevee, you will not find Bellsprout here. You'll find a Pokemon named Oddish instead. So you cannot get Bellsprout on Pikachu. And we got the excellent. Awesome. There we go, dude. So that should be a capture, hopefully. And we got it. So the three Pokemon you can find on Route 1, we've got them. So we're all done for this place. A 3.6 time multiplier, 36 experience. That'll bring Pidgey up to level 5. Now Freya's going to be a part of my main team. Pidgey and Rattata, they're not. So I'll be sure to mention when I'm actually adding a Pokemon to my main team and not just catching them to have them. And Bellsprout is a grass and poison type Pokemon. Prefers hot and humid places. It ensnares tiny bugs with its vines and devours them. Which is just, just kind of brutal, man. You can't talk about devouring things in Pokemon. It's too violent. But all right, we are basically done here with Route 1, so we're going to go walk along. I guess I, sh I should talk to that kid down there. So he says, see those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can hop down from them. You'll get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. So he's talking about the crud. Oh, I just walked into a Rattata. Run away! Yeah, you can run away whenever you like. It's no big deal. Okay, so he's talking about these ledges. You can just hop off them like that. But they're one way. You can't climb back up, of, up it, so... You gotta be careful about that, but no big deal. We'll just walk along. And there is one special thing at the top right here. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. You'll notice that Eevee actually finds an item in the bush. So we go talk to him here. And let's see what he's got for us. Freya found something in the plants. And we get another one of those raspberries. Again, we'll talk about those a bit later. But yeah, if you see a Pokemon ever do an exclamation mark at a bush, they probably found a berry for you. You've got a pretty sweet Pokemon with you. Have you tasted him? What does he taste like? A, a candy bar, dude? I'll bring along my favorite Pokemon later, so you'd better battle me when I do. Alright, kid. Well, where we actually want it to go is Viridian City right here, because we've got trainer tips. If you run out of Pokeballs, you can buy more out of Pokemart. Okay, well, we'll have to look for a Pokemart, I guess. What about this guy? Oh ho! So you're working on a Pokedex, then I'll give you a piece of advice. You do well to stock up on Pokeballs at a Pokemart before... Gosh dang it, Pokeballs. What about this kid? Those Pokeballs... Gosh dang it, kid! I don't know why everyone's so obsessed with Pokeballs, man! But yeah, we'll go talk to her. I go shopping in Pewter City occasionally. Okay, she talks about shopping, but it's not Pokeball related. That's good. Now, this kid's got some info on some upcoming Pokemon. Did you know there's actually two kinds of Caterpillar Pokemon? I'll say no, but I, I knew that. So Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Watch that your Pokemon aren't hit with Weedle's Poison Sting. We'll see Weedle and Caterpie pretty soon. Uh, but one cool thing, we can actually get Eevee to look at the flowers right here. And let's go talk to him here. And let's see. Freya found something that was dropped in the flower bed. And here we get a pretty wing. We can sell that for some money, basically. So that's cool. Now, right up here, there's a guy in front of the Mart. If we want to progress the game, we want to go talk to him. I'm going to take a little bit of a detour here first. I don't need to go inside this. This is a Pokemon Center where you can heal your Pokemon. But I want to go talk to these nerds. Now, if you've, like, ever watched the Pokemon anime, then you know who these are. But as far as the game is concerned, their names are question mark, question mark, question mark. So I'm not going to spoil their names, even though I'm sure, like, basically all of you already know their names. But yeah, they're, uh, they're just kind of standing here, blocking our way. So we cannot go further north. Uh, quite yet. What are you doing here, Twerp? Shoo! Go pester someone else. Alright, buddy. I know it's our mission to keep watch here, but it's so boring. I wish we could go kill time in the Pokemon or something and buy Pokeballs. So here we've got the sign Viridian City, the eternally green paradise. And one little nice detail is well, Viridian is green. The sign is green. Yeah! Right here we've got the trainer's school. I'll get to that a little bit later, but it's not too important for now. Let's go talk to this guy, though. Yo there, kid from Palatown. How did you know I'm from Pallet Town? 
Okay, well, let's go talk to the Mark. Let's actually go progress the game. Came up from Pallet Town. You must know Professor Oak, right? I've got a delivery for him, but I really can't leave the Pokemon unattended right now. Can I get you to take this to Professor Oak for me? Sure, buddy. So you took the parcel from the Pokemon clerk. Now, one thing that's really cool, this was not a thing in the original games, but in the remake here, do you want to head straight back to the lab? You hit yes, and it'll take you directly back here. So I guess let's go give Professor Oak his parcel. What's up, dude? Why, Psycho back so soon? How is little Eevee doing? Huh? Huh? Oh my gosh. Jeez, Eevee, you need to calm down, dude. And now, from this point on, Eevee is going to be on top of our head. Yeah, they will no longer follow behind us. Oh well. That's fine. Goodness me, Eevee here seems like it's really come to be a true partner to you, Psycho. I think you've got what it takes to become a great Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? You handed the professor his parcel. Oh, so my order arrived. Thank you for bringing it to me. No problem, buddy. Hey, Professor Oak, it's about my Pikachu. It's moves her. Um, Yarg, you can't just barge into a conversation like that, dude. Whoa, Psycho, that's so cool. Eevee just rides on you like that. Yeah, it just stands on my head. I don't know how he has such good balance. Maybe he's an acrobat. Ah, and now we have Yarg as well. What's, what fine timing. I've just been delivered some very handy items, which I think I'll share with the two of you. And here we get even more raspberries. This is why I didn't explain them earlier, because he'll explain it right now, basically. Great, I've been starving. I'll stop you right there, son. He calls him my boy. He calls him son. Is, are these just like figures of speech or, or is this guy related to him? I don't know, man. Those berries are for Pokemon to eat, not you. When you want to catch a Pokemon, try throwing one of those at your target before you take a Pokeball in hand. You'll find that the wild Pokemon will be so happy to have a berry in a blonde that they'll become much easier for you to catch. So yeah, if you give a wild Pokemon a raspberry, it'll be easier to catch. But with that said, at this point in the game, all of the Pokemon are so easy to catch that I would not recommend using any of them. I would just say, hold on to your raspberries. Just keep them, keep them safe, dude. I hope you get the chance to meet many different Pokemon in your journeys. Thanks, dude. As for me, I want to catch tons of different Pokemon, but I want to train them up to be strong, too. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel as well. But as we try to leave, wait up! Come on, Psycho, you do know you could do more with Pokemon than just catch them, right? If you're a trainer, you can have Pokemon battles with other trainers, too. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It's battle time! So here we go, guys, our very first Pokemon battle. And it's going to be against Pokemon Trainer Yarg. You can see at the top right, he's got one Pokeball there. That means he's got one Pokemon on his team. And his Pokemon is, of course, Pikachu. So let's send out Freya and let's go get to it. So, for battles, we can we have two options, basically. Well, three options. When we've got the bag, we can use items to heal our Pokemon and restore different things. We'll get to that later. You can also go to the Pokemon menu, and this will let you swap the different Pokemon if you want. So we could go like that. We could switch to uh, Pidgey there. But I'm going to fight with Eevee. So let's go to Fight. And if we press the Y button right here, we can get some info on our different attacks. The important thing is the power. You can see that there's 40 power, and there's also accuracy. 100 accuracy basically means it's always going to hit, unless they do some kind of thing to lower your accuracy. Now the number right here is your power points, or PP. Basically that's the number of times you can use the move. If you run out of PP, you can't use it anymore until you restore the PP. So yeah, you can just scroll through your attacks, see what they all do. But one thing that's really interesting, Quick Attack and Tackle both have 40 power, except Quick Attack always goes first, so basically just use Quick Attack, there's no reason to use Tackle. So let's go ahead and tackle this Pikachu. No, not tackle him, let's Quick Attack, Quick Attackle this Pikachu. And it looks like we might take him down with just two Quick Attacks here. Let's see if we can get him. And there we go, awesome. So yeah, I would definitely recommend just Quick Attack the Pikachu. Um, you could use Growl. Growl will lower their attack stat. The thing is, Pikachu uses Thunder Shock, which is a special attack, so that won't really affect it very much. Here we go, Freya's level 7, we get some extra stats, and we defeated Pokemon Trainer Yark. What? Did I lose? We get 120 Poke Dollars for winning. Heck yeah, we do. Alright. Aw, oh, jeez! Then I went mouthing off like I knew everything, and then I lost. How embarrassing. I probably should have trained my Pokemon up a bit before trying a battle like that, huh? Let's battle again sometime. Did you enjoy your first taste of... Why do people talk about tasting stuff? He says my Eevee is sweet. This guy's talking about the taste of battle. What does it taste like? Salt? I don't know, man. Your partner Eevee seemed to like it. Yeah, Eevee, Eevee's bloodthirsty. He loves battling. Battle against many trainers and help your Pokemon grow strong. And keep catching more and more new Pokemon while you're at it, too. Well, there's a lot to do, guys. So let's go get out of here. And right up here, we'll actually see uh, Yarg's sister. We, I showed her before. Hey, Psycho. 
What's up, Yarg's sister? I don't know her name, but it's just Yarg's big sister. Oh, just look at Eve. You two are already looking like great partners. And I've got the perfect little gift for such a great team. Here, take this. We get the sportswear. Heck yeah, man. You put the sportswear in your clothing trunk. Try putting that on Evie. You can go on an adventure in matching clothes. Oh boy. Oh, uh-oh. So Evie's gonna jump down on our arm right here. And now we get something very special. Freya looks very happy. We have the option, I just burped. We've got the option for partner play. So if we choose that, basically we can, you can read that if you want, but it's pretty simple. You just move this, your hand around and basically you can, you can pet your Eevee. There's some spots they don't like to be pet, I guess, but uh, you can pet them like this. Uh, you can poke their ears, poke their little ears. You can poke their, uh, poke their tail, I guess. You can poke their cheeks even, or if you uh, poke off the side, they'll do that. They'll like swipe their hand. And you can also even feed them those raspberries that we got. So let's go ahead and give them one of those. And that'll probably make them pretty happy as well. Now, I'll talk more about this in detail later on. I'm trying not to bog down this first episode with too many details, keeping things really basic. But we'll get into uh, the effects of playing with your Pokemon a little bit later. Because it is very important. So, there we go. We'll pet him a few times and we'll get out of here. Hee <laughs> hee! It seems like Eevee wants to play. Don't forget to show it some love from time to time. I'll be trying to do that. Maybe once an episode I'll go and give him a few pets and all that. So, there we go. We can now open up our menu. And we have all of the menu options. Communicate is just for playing online and stuff like that. But we now have the option to play with Freya. So, if we ever want to go inside that play menu, you can do it like that. Now I'm going to go back out here because we also got that sportswear. So let's go and equip some of that to Eevee. Let's go to the clothing trunk and let's choose an outfit for Freya here. And we've got a hat. We've got the sports cap. So there you go. We've got our little Freya with the sports cap. We can also put on a sportswear little, little jacket there. So look at Eevee looking all cute and crud. Now we can switch to me. We can eventually get stuff for us as well. But right now we've got nothing for us to wear. And a little shortcut. If you want a shortcut to the play menu, just shake the Joy-Con. It'll automatically open up the play menu here. So there you go, partner play. We can pet him in his little his little hat, dude. There we go. But alrighty, guys. The start of this game is a little bit slow, but I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We did get our first Pokemon. We got all the options unlocked here. We even had our first Pokemon battle. But we'll be coming back next time. We'll be catching lots more Pokemon and continuing our adventure. So thank you all so much for watching. We have a grand adventure ahead of us, but I'll see you next time. Take care.